This is Aaron True with MMA Prime TV, and today we're at Frank Muir's private training facility, Team Supper, with Larry Muir. He has his upcoming fight in a few months. He's about to open training camp. We know you train with the best in the world. Can we take a look inside your training today? Yeah, bro. Anything goes there. We, uh, we always got the best guys stopping through, so let's see who's in. All right, thanks a lot. I'm the best in the world, baby. One more round. <laughs> is that Greg Gagenwinger from the yeah. Get My Guard videos? Yeah, he's a, he's a huge part of my camp, this training camp. Yeah, yeah. Do you think he'd do an interview with me? You can ask him, dude. Greg, my name's Aaron True. Can I get a quick interview? Make it quick. Okay. Uh, this is Aaron True with uh, Greg, get in my guard, gang and wanker. You're here at Frank Muir's private facility. What are you doing here? Well, I'm here to help out my boy Larry. Got a big fight coming up. Getting him ready for it. Well, I didn't even know you were a real cage fighter, so it's kind of impressive to see you here. Tell us about your first uh, cage fighting experience. Well, uh, I guess you know my first cage fight would have been when I was about a month old. Uh, I was actually born a twin, and my mom made the mistake of putting me and my brother in the same crib together. And obviously, you know, one thing led to another. He's a gag and wanker, so he wouldn't tap out, and uh, he's not with us anymore. But luckily, my mom told the police it was SIDS, so I didn't go to jail. I know you're huge in action movies. Uh, you have a lot of inspiration from the martial arts movie stars. Who are your top five favorite martial arts stars, and how would you rank against them? Well, I guess uh, number five would be Jackie Chan. And if I fought Jackie Chan, I would actually punch him in the mouth so much that ironically when I was done, he would speak perfect English. Uh, number four, I'd say Chuck Norris. Uh, that fight would never happen. Uh, I'm the reason that Chuck Norris quit martial arts and started selling total gyms. Uh, Bruce Lee would be number three. And uh, the fight would end the same way as the Bruce Lee story. He dies at the end. Number two. I would have to say it would be Jean-Claude Van Damme, and I would hit Jean-Claude Van Damme so hard that he would actually travel through time back to 1988, where as a second grader, I would beat his ass again. It'd be just like Time Cop, only good. And uh, if I was going to go against the number one action star, uh, I guess that'd have to be me versus myself. And uh, to be honest with you, I don't even know how, how I would handle uh, fighting myself, but I'll put it this way, you'd have to put God versus Satan on the undercard, the fight would be that huge. All right, well, you know, there's been a lot of comparison to you uh, recently with Reggie Warren Jr. You must be flattered. Uh, how thrilled are you to be compared to such a star like Reggie Warren Jr.? People are comparing me to Reggie Warren Jr. People think I'm gay. Seriously, Reggie Warren Jr. is the kind of guy I fight on my way to another fight. This is how it would go. Me fighting him is like a girl on her period. He'd act like a bitch for the first couple of days, and then he'd bleed. Okay, well, you know, we're thrilled to have you here at Team Suffer. I'm taking a glimpse at the gym in Larry's training camp today. Can you show me a technique? I know you're famous for your getting your guard and your jujitsu. Uh, can we do a technique today? Yeah, you want to do a little cage 101 with the professor of pain? I'll give you a free lesson. I'll tell you what. You follow my technique and my lessons, and you'll make Ken Shamrock look like Ken Shamrock. Let's go. All right, here's what we're going to do. A lot of fighters get caught in triangles and don't know what to do. I'm going to show you the perfect technique to get out and escape the triangle. What I'm going to do is with my arm that's trapped, I'm going to use hammer strikes to air in solar plexus. This is going to disrupt his heart's rhythm, and it's going to cause him to release the hold and simultaneously tap out. Here's how it's done. Go ahead and put me in a triangle. Are you sure you're doing it right? Oh. Oh. Yeah, he tapped out. He tapped out. You saw Larry. He tapped out. He bit my. No, you tap the strikes! I wouldn't no, no, you tap the strikes, you pussy! Come down. Why do you even have that guy in your gym? Dude, you know when you're preparing for a wrestler, you gotta bring in good wrestlers. When you're preparing for a shit talker, there's nobody better than Greg Gagenwanker.
Yeah, just like that, Larry. Just like the perfect. Perfect. That's a W every time. True, you fucking pussy.